All right, for the partial quotients method, the idea is we're going to keep a running tally down the right column of how many times we can subtract 4 from 583. And the cool thing is uh, students can choose any number of partial quotients uh, in, in any order and we'll always end up with the same answer. For example, we might say, well, how many times does 4 go into 583? Well, we can s start by trying 100 times. So that would give us 400 because 100 times 4 is 400. And then we subtract and we'd get 183. And then we'd say, well, how many times can we subtract 4 from 183? Well, let's try 40. So I'll use red this time, 40. And that would give us 160. And we subtract, and we'd get 23. And then the students would say, well, how many times can we subtract 4 from 23? And oh, we could do 5 times. And that gives us 20. And we subtract, and we get 3 left over. So now the total of all of these partial quotients over here is 145 with a remainder of 3. Now the cool thing is that that was a pretty efficient way but students don't have to do it that way. They could have done it a different way. So let's do 583 and here's our running tally down the right. And We could say well how many times does 4 go into 100, uh, 583? Let's say the kid says, I don't know, how about 200? Uh, oops, not 200. That's way too much. Uh, let's make it uh, 50. So there's our 200. And we can subtract, and we get three, eight, 383. And the student might say, well, 50 worked once. Let's do it again. So there's our another 200, and that gives us 183. And just to say, uh, let's belabor the point a little bit, we could say 30. So 4 goes into 183 30 times, so that's 120. And we subtract, and we get 63 left over. Now the student might say, oh, well, I happen to know that 4 times 15 gives me 60. So there's our remainder of 3, and then we total up our partial quotients, and once again we get 145 remainder 3. So we've got two different ways to demonstrate that 583 divided by 4 is 145 remainder 3 using the partial quotients method.